Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another book review. So the book we are going to be talking about today is this book right here, The Blind Owl by, and bear with me, Sadehe Hedayat. Hopefully I did a good job of that. I looked up a pronunciation, but the pronunciation itself is also a bit hard for me to understand. Uh, but yeah, it is a book that is originally written in Persian. So you'll see here it says translated by Naveed Nuri. And it says right there, first translation into English based on the Bombay edition, which I guess was one of the original versions of the book. And this book right here was recommended to me by one of the guys that actually watches my uh, my Twitch live streams. Um, their username in my Twitch chat is like Nicholas and then a bunch of numbers, but they commented on one of my book review videos saying that I should read this book. And so I figured uh, I would check it out. So I hope I hope you appreciate this review. <laughs> What I will say, I'm going to start by saying that I really, really enjoyed this book uh, very, very much. But it's going to be hard for me to give a complete review of what this book is just because of the nature of the book, which I will get into. But I just want to start by saying overall, I really, really enjoyed it. So I do have the Wikipedia article for the book up here because I just want to make sure I have all my facts correct about certain things with this book. Um, but it does say here that this book is one of the major literary works of 20th century Iran and is considered to be the magnum opus of the author. So, like, this is, like, his main book. Um, and it shows. It was, it was a phenomenal book. Uh, but what's interesting about it is that it has a few things. It has an unreliable narrator, which if you've read something or I, I don't know if it really comes through in the movie, but if, if you've read One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, um, the narrator in that book is unreliable because he's a, he's a patient at a mental hospital, and so he will sometimes see things that aren't really there, but they're more metaphorical of the events that are happening, or a metaphorical representation of the events that are happening. Um, but so everything he says like can't be taken at face value necessarily, and this book has some of that, where it's not entirely clear that what the narrator's uh, saying is exactly the events that are happening, which makes the book already a little bit open to interpretation, a little bit confusing. Another thing about this book is that it's split into two sections. You have this first section, which is more uh, dreamlike and fantastical, whimsical. The events are uh, uh, more, maybe more exaggerated, but more, more shocking, more bold. And then you have the second half of the book, which seems to be grounded more in realism, uh, realistic things. Uh, but it seems to parallel the first half of the book, which is really interesting. These two parts of the book parallel each other, yet um, are written in like a completely different tone. It's very interesting. I will say the book is incredibly dark. So if so far you're like, oh, like I might want to read this book. If reading something that's really dark isn't your thing, uh, definitely not the book for you. It's full of like themes of death. Drug abuse is a thing to an extent, but the the main things being like really, really heavy, like themes of death, themes of killing, stuff like that. So yeah, very dark, but doesn't mean, you know, dark doesn't mean it wasn't in, an enjoyable read or you know, a bad book or anything. Or just, just very dark, so bear that in mind. I've spent a lot of time, even outside of just reading the book, I watched like five or six different videos that were reviews and or like analysis of what this book was about and because of the nature of the book it's so open to interpretation and almost every single video had a different interpretation of what the plot was what the message is um, even the comments there would be people in the comments being like oh i thought of it more this way and even those like wouldn't line up with anything the reviewers were saying out of the, all the videos i was watching so it's very open to interpretation what's happening which i i think is genuinely interesting um but what i have heard from those reviews is that it's a book that makes more sense when you read it again. And because, I mean, I don't know if I showed, but it's a very thin book, about 80 pages. Um, I think it's the type of thing where I will go back and read it again and see if some of those things click because it has a lot of repetition in it and themes and symbolism or, yes, yeah, symbolism and imagery. Uh, so I think a lot of those things would click a lot better on a second reading, but I haven't gotten around to that second reading just yet. Um, but yeah. To me personally, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak a little bit as to what I got like before really watching any of the reviews or anything. What I understood from the book is that there's themes of themes of love, themes of hatred, themes of death, obviously, 
but also like themes of mistaking the reality of certain situations or wanting things to be one way when in fact they are another way so whether that's like a rose tinted glasses kind of view on the past or whether that's like a hopeful an overly optimistic view of the future it seemed to me to have some sort of themes of like an expectations versus reality reality not living up to expectations and then um developing a hatred for something that you once loved once you realize that those expectations are not you know um happening uh that's kind of what i got i don't want to say too much just because like i said i want to read it again and get a more firm grasp as to exactly what's going on in the book but uh just some final notes like i said i really appreciate the uh, the recommendation i really enjoyed the book overall i think i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten maybe that'll change once i read it again or something but like i thought it was an incredibly interesting detailed thought-provoking reading definitely different from anything else i've read like like the other book that i gave a 9 out of 10 that i can think of in recent memory was um the uh welcome to the universe the 3d tour book which was like about space and like i'm not saying like oh if you really like that one you like this one it's not like that i'm giving it a 9 out of 10 because it was just incredibly intriguing, incredibly thought-provoking, incredibly descriptive, but also a story that is just so open to interpretation um, that you keep thinking about it, really, is what it is. Um, it, it, it leaves you thinking and it leaves you asking questions. And so it's just a very intriguing book. And so if that's the type of thing that might interest you, I recommend this book. But like I said, it does have some dark themes so um just be prepared for that but yeah i i feel like this video was a little bit all over the place i hope when i go and edit this i can make it a little bit uh, more coherent but if not i apologize but yeah that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed there should be another book review coming out within the next few days um, so look forward to that the book that it uh, is for is a really good book so stay tuned for that but that's all i have for this video Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!